guys, so we have been in our new house now for a little while and I want to say that my attempts at keeping the pet hair at bay have succeeded. There have been no, the house is, it's like we don't even have dogs, it's amazing. And I wanna share with you guys the three like big different things that I'm doing that I didn't used to do when I used to kind of battle with pet hair and there used to be pet hair like on the couch or there was pet hair, um, you know, I would leave the house and it'd be on my clothes, things like that. And we are like virtually pet hair free. Seriously, and I have two big dogs, and they shed a lot. My, um, They're getting older, so they seem to be shedding even more than they ever have, especially my German short hair, and you'll see here in a clip that he really is. So I wanna share with you guys my three, my top three ways that I'm keeping my house pet hair clean. So number one is brushing them. And this one kind of seems obvious. And before, if I'm being completely honest, I didn't do it as often as I should have. And I do it now about every other day. I waited about three days to show you guys how much hair I'm actually getting off of them in a single brushing. It's kind of unreal. I like the Furminator. There's also the Shed Ender and there's a few other different kinds of brushes out there that are like this, but they really help strip their coats and get everything off. And yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's about almost time I actually get a new one. <laughs> it's getting pretty warm. And I've had it for a while. So now the next thing that I do is vacuum every single day. This might seem like overkill and it might seem impossible and I can tell you right now it's not overkill. It actually keeps my house so much cleaner and it keeps it picked up because I use the Roomba and I love the Roomba. Oh my gosh. It's like the best a thing on the planet. It's amazing. And I've been interested in like the robot vacuums now for I would say probably about a year and a half. And I even at one point, so I eyed them forever and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I just, I have a Dyson, like I can't justify a Roomba. It was, it was kind of actually honestly kind of hard to justify. So at one point I found on Groupon something called a Bob Sweep and I'm like, oh, this is a lot cheaper. Like, you know, this, this will be good. This will work. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. <laughs> the thing would like go underneath my bed. It would never leave underneath my bed, no matter where I started it, no matter how many times I called for troubleshooting. The thing loved to just vacuum underneath my bed. I'm like, well, I'm glad it's clean down there, but none of the rest of the house was clean. Eventually, we had to send it away. The kids were sad that our robot had to leave. But um, yeah, so I have taken the plunge, gotten an actual real deal, amazing, you can even control it from your phone, it's incredible, Roomba, it's amazing, it's amazing, and the kids love it, and the best part about it is everybody cleans everything up, because I'm like, the Roomba will eat it, if you kill my Roomba, I'm killing you, <laughs> that type of thing, so um, everybody keeps everything cleaned up, so everything's always off the floor, the floor is always beautiful and clean, and you can lay down on the floor, and you don't get covered in pet hair, it does great with pet hair, I just, I empty it every single day, and that's all I have to do. That's all I do. I get times I've sent a picture of the Roomba cleaning to my boyfriend being like, hey, I'm doing dishes and vacuuming at the same time. It reminds me of being like the octopus mom who's like, not octo mom, but like the, you know, like the, there's like a meme of like, or was it? Maybe it was from the Flintstones. I'm not exactly sure, but like where she's got like baby on one hip, ironing on the other, like dishes, vacuuming or sweeping. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Maybe, I think, I'm feeling like it's the Flintstones, but I feel like there's a meme too. Anyways, that's kind of what I feel like. So. I love my Roomba. I love it. I love it. It's on a cleaning schedule. It cleans everything. It's just, it's genius. And it doesn't like do one spot. It like, it looks good after it's done. So I would highly recommend taking the plunge, getting the actual Roomba. Um, the cheaper ones, at least in my experience, just don't, they just don't do it like, like this one does. So yes, the Roomba vacuum every day. Finally, my last um, thing that I do pretty much daily, even though we're not letting the dogs on the couch, for some reason, there's still dog hair on the couch. We have this like incredibly magnetic, staticky, it doesn't seem staticky, but it seems to attract everything microfiber couch. And the hair like sticks to it like super glue. By the way, I've heard this tip recently that you can clean microfiber with Windex. I haven't done it yet, but everybody seems to be talking about it. Anyhow, um, I, I limp roller the couch every day and I found if I go really, really slow, like just kind of, you know, if I kind of just spot do it, um, and then there's only ever like maybe 10 to 15 pieces of hair, just, I think it's just from like when they shake or things like that, but I just go over it and it makes the couch like look all brushed clean and just like little things like that. For some reason lines, it's like a freshly mowed lawn, the lines just like 
make everything look amazing. So yeah, that, that too, doing that. And then that way you can sit on the couch, like after you've gotten dressed and seriously, no hair, no hair. My dogs look better than they've ever looked. The houses look better than it's ever looked. Um, little tiny things that have made like just the biggest improvement ever, ever in our lives. And even if you do have like me, a Dyson, and you're having a hard time justifying it, peace of mind, oh my gosh, it saves me so much time, you guys. And to know, like, my boyfriend and I are just waiting for somebody to be like, hey, like, let's go back to your house. You know, like, if we go out with our friends, like, let's go back finish watching the game at your house or something like that. Like, just turn it on really quick and be like, okay, like, sure, yeah. And know that we come home and our house is perfectly clean. It's amazing. It's a technology is just blowing my mind. So anyways, I wanted to share those three tips with you guys. I'm gonna do, um, an updated cleaning schedule pretty soon because yeah we're just I don't know I feel like I'm finally like getting it all together as far as like keeping the house up and um, things like that and it, it started before I moved but you know updated so anyways that's it if you guys have any tips for keeping pet hair at bay please share them down below I would love to hear them and I'm sure others would love to read them and yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs> It makes the beeping sound and backs up.